Are you guys looking to get more range out of your Zeus bike? Well, you clicked on the right video because I have this battery right here. Plug and play option takes a little bit of work. It's gonna replace our stock battery right here. So let's get into it and I'll show you what to do. First and foremost, if you have the stock battery connected, let's take this off. So you're gonna need the key and let's pull this bad boy off. Now, once you get the battery removed, you're gonna see the battery rail right underneath the seat. Now you're gonna wanna take the seat off. We're gonna have to take this bolt off right here. You also have two bolts that go way up here. You're going to need this tool right here connected to a socket. This is a five millimeter. And then you're also gonna have a bolt way in the back, right up in here if you can see that. Once we remove all those, then we can pop this seat off. Just like that. So now that the seat is removed, now you can kind of get a better idea of how the bike looks without it on there. This gives you access to the controller right here. It's held on by four bolts two in the rear, two in the front. You don't have to modify this whatsoever. But if you're changing out your controller, just know that's exactly how you have to take the seat off. It's super easy. These four bolts are what we're gonna work with. This holds the rail to the battery, and we have to slide this rail all the way back. Now to do this, you have to loosen every single one of these up. This one in particular, this one sits right here. You have to take this one completely out because it stops you from sliding the rail all the way back because we need this rail as far back as possible because this frame tapers in the front and the battery is very big. Once you have done that and pushed the rail all the way back as possible, I would highly suggest putting the battery in first because this battery is very difficult to get in there. This mod might not be for everybody because it is so tight in here and you have to muscle it in that you can see that we're already getting scratches on the frame inside here. So just something to keep in mind, if you do not want any scratches, this is definitely a tight fit. So make sure you kind of straddle the bike like this and you have to just get it in there as much as possible. I'll try to speed this up so you guys don't see me struggle, but trust me, it will fit. It's just gonna take a long time to get in there, especially for the first time. <sighs> Whew. All right, there we go. Kind of move the bike a little bit while doing it. Mine's a little bit easier than yours because I've been taking it on and off, but just keep in mind, if you're gonna do this, you do not wanna keep taking this battery off and on. It's just, that's a huge suggestion right there. You're not gonna wanna do it. So now you know how to put it on. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but now you can see exactly what we're working with. So if you look right down in here, you're gonna see some shavings of the actual paint coming off on the plastic battery because there is absolutely no room. It's literally just grinding the sides as you're pushing that up there. So like I said, this might not be a mod for everybody, but I am very impressed. I did a 14 mile trip and I had one battery bar go down. So, so far, so good. You're never gonna be able to hit this button. Keep in mind, cause the seat is gonna be blocking it. Now, all I have to do is put the seat back on and we're good to go. Oh, and if it doesn't lock like how mine is, that means it's not pushed back enough. Cause like I said, it is a real big pain in the ass. So uh, mine's not locking. So I actually don't have it fully on yet, which I thought I did, but it is not. <clears throat> okay. All right, now it actually locks. Make sure you do that. I don't think this battery is gonna have an easy time falling out like the stock one, but you do not want this coming out. Now I just had to throw the seat on and we're pretty much rocking and rolling with an almost five amp hour upgrade. And there you go, guys, that's it. You're good to go. Um, this mod, like I said, is not gonna be for everybody. It just really depends if you don't mind jamming something in there and you have the muscle to do it. Don't get discouraged that it doesn't fit because trust me, it does fit. It's just a pain in the ass the first time you do it. Your hands are gonna probably be blistering red by trying to pound it in there little by little. Just make sure you get it locked. If it's not locking, it is not in there correctly. Now all you have to do is get on your bike and enjoy that extra five to 10 miles of range. But real quick, let me give you some tips that will help you in doing this and some stuff that you need. So I said this earlier in the video when we were working on it and you're definitely gonna need this. If you do not have this, you're not gonna be able to do the job. Unless you have a very long Allen that can do the job like this, then you're good. I like the ballpoint for this and I just use a socket. It makes it super easy and convenient to get to. The bolts are very hard to put back once you get them off because there's all the wiring from the controller up in here. So my suggestion is not even putting those bolts back on. I just have the rear bolt right here and then the front bolt right here. And honestly, this seat, 
nothing's coming up. Like nothing's like gonna lift up whatsoever. Like you don't have to worry about your seat. So that's my suggestion of just not even putting those two bolts back in. It's gonna save you the headache. And on top of it, we moved this back a lot farther. So there's a lot more wires like in the way instead of how loose they were before. Now they're really like crammed up in here. Another thing you guys can do if you guys want extended range and you wanna carry two battery packs, you don't mind the extra weight. You don't have to put it in your backpack or anything, but here's my suggestion. Put this battery on the bike because you're not gonna wanna put this when you're on the trail. This one's just way too hard to install when you're actually riding it. So keep this one on the bike. Pick up your stock battery and you don't need the bottom rail. It just comes with it. I just have it connected just because I don't wanna lose it. But you can put it right here on the back rack if you have the back rack from Zeus and you can ratchet strap it and it will hold on there perfectly fine and then you'll get like 50 miles of range if not more depending on your riding style. And there you go, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to show you guys. A really quick, easy video, but subscribe to the channel because I am doing a bunch of modifications to this bike. I'm actually gonna be doing a controller mod to it very soon when it comes in. I need to get the right connections and all that stuff. I think we need a throttle for it also, I'm not 100% sure. And then also, I think a couple months down the road, we're gonna do a 72 volt system on this and I'm also gonna show you guys how to do that too. But I'm really hoping this helped you out, get more battery range out of your bike. The battery is not sponsored whatsoever. It's about a $500 battery on Amazon. I'll have links down in the description if you guys wanna pick it up. It is gonna be affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of commission from Amazon. But please, it does help the channel out and definitely be safe out there riding and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.